Hi fellow music fans, welcome back to Psychology of Rock. If you're new here, my name's Nina, and today I'm going to be offering an analysis and a personality assessment of the incredible Iron Maiden vocalist and accomplished polymath, Bruce Dickinson. This was requested by several of you, and honestly, I've always felt that he is an absolutely fascinating person, so I found the process of the evaluation to be both enjoyable and interesting, simply because he is one of the most intelligent and multifaceted individuals in the music scene today. So I'm going to start with a very quick history and biography of Bruce, move on to my analysis, and then share what I believe is his likely MBTI profile, which is the personality assessment tool that I will be using for this video. Before we start, just a quick reminder that this analysis is purely speculative and based solely on my own opinion and I would love to hear whether or not you agree with this assessment so don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also if you have not yet subscribed please take a moment to do so. I would love it if you stayed connected and with that being said let's move on to our deep dive into Bruce Dickinson. So Bruce was born in 1958. He started his musical career in the 1970s where he was mainly singing for local pub bands while he was pursuing his education. In 1979, he joined the new wave heavy metal band Samson where he started to gain some popularity as a vocalist. But in 1981, he quit Samson to join the now iconic heavy metal band Iron Maiden, which is of course what he is most famous for. He sang for the band from 1981 until 1993. He then left for a period of six years to pursue a solo career. He then rejoined the band in 1999 and is still an active member today. Bruce is well known for his energetic stage presence and of course his incredible and wide ranging operatic vocal style. He has had an immensely impressive musical career, but outside of music, his accomplishments are equally impressive and astonishingly diverse. Intelligent Life magazine officially labeled him a polymath, which is a term that describes someone with wide ranging knowledge or whose expertise spans a significant number of different subject areas. So I think this term really does apply in the case of Bruce Dickinson. So in addition to his musical talents, he's also a commercial airline pilot. In fact, he himself flies Iron Maiden around in the band's customized 757 that they brilliantly call Ed Force One. He also has presented shows on both TV and radio. He's written novels. He's been a screenwriter. He also crafts and sells his own beer, which has become internationally successful. And somehow he is also a champion fencer. I believe at one time he ranked number seven for all of Great Britain. And in addition to all this, he also led his own incredibly inspiring TED Talk, where he shared his story about going from a rock star to a businessman and how to be creative in the modern business world. And that is definitely a TED Talk to look up if you haven't seen it. He is a natural speaker and he has a lot of very insightful things to say. And believe it or not, these are not his only accomplishments. The list really goes on and on and on. Bruce is really considered to be a living legend and with good reason. Not only is he a phenomenal artist, but he is also an exceptional person and also a very inspiring entrepreneur. So the big question then becomes who is he as a person? What type of personality characteristics are associated with someone who is so accomplished and so driven? Well, one way to better understand who he is and where he is coming from is to try to make an assessment of his personality profile. Now, outside of the channel, I normally use a methodology called the five factor model to do this, but since so many more people are familiar with the MBTI, or the Myers-Briggs type indicator, that's what I'll be using for this video. This is an assessment tool that takes a look at the psychological preferences people have in how they perceive the world and how they make decisions. Analyzing the results of this type of assessment can help us to better understand someone's behavior, what their strengths and weaknesses are, how they interact with other people, what motivates them, and what they tend to focus on. So I'm going to start by sharing some of the observations I made about Bruce and then explain what I believe is his MBTI personality profile 
based on these observations. And then I'll go over some of the key points of that personality type. And you can let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with the assessment. So after watching countless hours of interview footage, seeing him on stage, reading some of his writing and analyzing his lyrics, some of the personality characteristics that stood out to me was that he is incredibly intelligent. He's extremely confident. He's funny. He's kind of sarcastic sometimes. He's energetic. He's charming. He's laid back and down to earth, yet he is extremely ambitious. He's also very polite and kind, and he seems to be very optimistic about the future. And I know he is a cancer survivor, and sometimes these types of experiences can also shift our perspective a little bit. He's definitely not what the public would expect him to be knowing that he was a singer for a band like Iron Maiden. In fact, I did not even see a hint at a dark side in any of his interviews. It seems to be more about theatrics and creativity and fun for him. And when we look at his lyrics, we can see that there's this unique balance between being fantastical and kind of edgy with being thought provoking and even insightful. He is definitely a storyteller. We can also see that both musically and lyrically that he has not felt the need to follow musical trends. He doesn't try to sound like anyone but himself. And although we could really say that about the whole band, I do think that is noteworthy. So keeping all of these factors in mind, it is my speculation speculation that Bruce has an ENTJ personality type, meaning he is extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and judging. So in other words, these are the personality traits that are the most dominant in Bruce's personality. And I do feel that he is almost the epitome of this personality type and that it helps to explain how he is as accomplished as he is. So I'm going to go ahead and give an overview of the ENTJ personality type, which is nicknamed the commander. And you can see why I really feel that it best aligns with Bruce's personality. ENTJs are natural leaders that actively gather information to construct their creative visions and rarely hesitate before acting on them. They are charismatic, confident, determined, driven, strategic, sharp-minded, outspoken individuals that project authority. This personality type strives for greatness. They are natural problem solvers who enjoy being challenged. ENTJs operate under the belief that given enough resources and time, any goal is achievable. They are able to hold long-term focus and can be critical of those they view as incompetent, inefficient, or lazy. Some of the weaknesses associated with people with this personality type are that they can sometimes be perceived as being stubborn, impatient, competitive, arrogant, insensitive, and emotionally distant. Overall, however, ENTJs are seen as energetic, logical, enthusiastic, charismatic, strong-willed, bold, and inspiring. They are true leaders that always aim for excellence. I also want to add that the ENTJ personality type is incredibly rare. It's estimated that they make up only about 3% of the population. Some estimations have it as low as 1%, but either way, it is a personality type that we don't commonly see as often. So those are my thoughts on Bruce Dickinson, but I would love to hear yours. So don't forget to leave a comment down below. He truly is a fascinating person with an incredible voice and vocal range, but also one of the most intelligent and accomplished artists of our time. As always, I truly hope you enjoyed today's analysis. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.